In this experiment we shall investigate the current voltage characteristics for these components. For part 1 we start with the resistor. In the following experiment we require the following parts. A resistor. A power supply. A switch and a meter a variable resistor and finally a volt meter We connect the voltmeter in parallel to the resistor and the ammeter in series with the resistor. We start the experiment by switching on the circuit. And we read that the PD across the resistor is 0.5 volts. And the current is 46 milliamp. We repeat the experiment by adjusting the variable resistor to obtain a second set of readings. The PD now is 0.7 volts and the current through the resistor is 71.7 milliamps. We continue the experiment by adjusting the variable resistor to give 5 readings of PD and current. We then tabulate the data, as shown, and from the data we plot a graph of current against the voltage. This shows that the current is directly proportional to the voltage and the gradient is the reciprocal of the resistance. The resistor obeys Ohm's law if the temperature does not change and this means that the current is directly proportional to the applied PD. In the second part, we use a filament lamp. For this part of the experiment, we require a power supply, a switch, a filament lamp, an ammeter, A variable resistor and finally a volt meter. In the circuit diagram we see that the voltmeter is in parallel to the filament lamp and the ammeter is in series with the filament lamp. We start the experiment by switching on the circuit. And we read that the PD across the filament lamp is 0.1 volts and the current through the filament lamp is 52.3 milliamp. We repeat the experiment by adjusting the variable resistor to obtain a second set of readings. Voltmeter, which gives a 0.2 volts and the current of 69.2 milliamp. We repeat the experiment by adjusting the variable resistor to obtain further values of PD and current. Observe what happens to the filament lamp as current increases as we adjust the variable resistor. The lamp gets brighter as current increases. We then tabulate the data as shown and we plot a graph of current against voltage showing a curve. In this case Ohm's law is not obeyed. It is advisable to take many readings to plot a curve. 
For part 3a, we use the semiconductor diode in forward bias. For this experiment, we require the power supply, a potential divider, a semiconductor diode connected in forward bias, an ammeter, a voltmeter. The circuit diagram shows that the voltmeter is in parallel to the diode and the ammeter is in series with the diode. It is important that the polarity is in the forward bias. We switch on the circuit and adjust the potential divider to obtain our first readings. The PD across the diode is 0 0.08 volts and the current is zero. We repeat and adjust the potential divider for a second set of readings. And we read again, the potential difference across the diode is 0 0.22 volts and current is still zero. We repeat the experiment for many, many more readings because this is going to be a curve, so we require many points. And as the potential divider is adjusted, we note that the current starts when the PD is above a certain value. So the diode does not conduct immediately when we switch on, but a certain voltage has to be exceeded. For part 3b, we connect the semiconductor diode in reverse bias. The circuit is still the same with the voltmeter in parallel to the diode and the ammeter in series with the diode, but the diode is now connected in the opposite direction. So we start by swapping the terminals of the diode so that it will be connected in reverse bias. And we replace the ammeter so that to increase the sensitivity. And we choose the microampere scale. We switch on the circuit and adjust the potential divider for the first set of readings. We read the values and we see that the PD across the diode is 0 0.13 volts and the current is zero. We repeat for a second set of reading and we again read that the voltage across the diode is 0 0.3 volts and zero current. And we repeat the experiment for many more readings. A small leakage current results as PD increases. We tabulate all the data. It's a long table because we have many, many points in forward bias and in reverse bias. And then we plot a graph of current against the voltage and we use the two sides of the graph, the negative and the positive. On the negative side is the reverse bias, on the positive side it's the forward bias. It is noted that the turn on voltage for this semiconductor diode is 0 0.6 volts. The semiconductor diode does not obey Ohm's law.